What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I can't say Reg G anymore because Reg G is actually coming to a close. So that's what we're doing today. I want to speculate about what the next regulation in competitive Pokemon could possibly be because it, it's kind of up in the air. There's a couple different options that are available uh, for what they could do for the remainder of the year. We know that regulation G is coming to a close at the end of August, which means we should be getting the new regulation announcement and what the rules will be here in the next couple of days or so. It could honestly go up today after I upload this video. So it's it's fun to just speculate as to what possibly could be coming from the new regulation. So we're going to talk about Reg H and leave a comment below. Let us know what you would like Regulation H to be. So I think that the most obvious thing that a lot of people are leaning towards as far as what regulation h could actually be is a double restricted format this is pretty typical toward the end of a life cycle in any pokemon game is that we get access to the two legendary or restricted pokemon per team rule set and this is pretty normal like i said you see it a ton moving into the end of the life cycle of a game however I do think that that would be a little odd because typically the double restricted format is a year long format. It runs until the end of the game's life cycle. And that gets a little awkward as far as this particular game is concerned because we do not know when Gen 10 is actually coming out. We know that Legend ZA is coming, but we don't know actually when Gen 10 is coming and when we would move into a new competitive game, which means I feel like double restricteds will be held off until the first of the new year first day of 2025 that makes the most sense to me because this new format regulation h will likely run from september until the end of the year which means it's kind of just an awkward gray area for when we will actually get the double restricted so as far as i'm concerned i don't want to see that because that's a long long format i would rather be i would be much happier with the regulation uh, concerning the double restricted Pokemon being held off until the new year and running till whenever Gen 10 comes out. I think that would be much better. It would keep hype for the game because I feel like there are some other options that are much, much better for Regulation H. So under the assumption that Regulation H will run from September to the end of this year, I think there's a couple options that are pretty interesting as far as the competitive scene is concerned. The first is something that they did way back in Sword and Shield that would be interesting, and that is remove the gimmick from play entirely and just have, you know, standard Pokemon play without terrestrialization. Now, I will say there are official competitions going into the end of the year that will apply towards Worlds next year, and I just don't see it being very likely for them to remove terrestrialization from play uh, for these official tournaments. I think it would be very awkward, and a lot of people would probably be upset about it, so that seems something that probably would be left behind, especially because they put such an emphasis on terrestrialization during a lot of their uh, presentations for the regionals and things like that. Um, I just don't know if that is a very likely scenario, but like I said, it did happen in Sword and Shield. They removed Dynamax from play for a series, so it's possible that they do that again here in Scarlet and Violet. But what I think would be more fun and would be very exciting would be going back to Regulation A or Series 1, whatever you want to call it, and giving it a plus plus to it. Now, if you've watched my Inca Games videos, you know what that is already. But if you don't know, that would be the Series 1 format with the addition of the new Pokemon added in the DLC. Now, Series 1, if you did not play back then, did exclude Paradox Pokemon as well as Legendary Pokemon. So it would be a very uh, interesting format for sure. And I think that would actually be a lot of fun to play in. So for me personally, I think that regulation a plus plus would be a very, very exciting format to finish off the year of 2024 and then have the dual restricted format resurface going into the final year of Scarlet and Violet. I think that just sounds like a ton of fun. And there's a lot of creativity that could happen there in that type of metagame. So I think that me personally, that is what I'm leading towards what I would want to see out of Pokemon going for Regulation H. Again, we don't know the specifics of Regulation H. That could be the format till the end of Scarlet and Violet. We could get it in September and that runs until Worlds next year and then we get the new game. That is definitely a possibility and I'm not saying that's out of the question, but I would really prefer another format and then get the final format of the game. So have Regulation H run until the end of the year and then we get another regulation to finish out scarlet and violet's life cycle that's what i would prefer but let me know like i said at the start of the video your thoughts on this in the comments below uh once the announcement comes out again that could be any minute now 
uh i will be only accepting rental teams for regulation h in the discord for future videos i have a handful of regulation g videos that are still uh ready to upload they are edited andy took care of them already so those will go up but moving forward we will only be accepting regulation h videos for the uh discord and for videos going forward so just so you guys know moving forward i am i'm whenever the announcement is and whatever that format may be that is the teams that i will be accepting for future videos going forward but that's it for this video guys hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future and i'll see you all in the next one peace